This is our litter of babies that were born on 8-24-2010. We have one little boy and one little girl still available. We have this little boy available. Hi, Betty. And that little girl available. They're all going to be probably 12 pounds. This little boy here, which is Vegas, will probably be a little bit bigger than that. Look at He's over here getting, giving me love in time. Yes. Hi, buddy. Mm. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Oh, look at him. Look, he's just here saying, pet me. Pet me. He's such a sweet baby. Okay, let's go play. He's just sitting here by my foot. I'm just sitting here by my foot. She's getting a lion. What are you guys doing? Fuzzy Wuzzy puppies are just so sweet. Um, they're a mix of Shih Tzu Bichon. Um, they are a very needy dog. They want to be on your lap. They want to be with you 24-7. They're not a dog you can put out in the backyard and forget about. We've actually had five of them become certified therapy dogs. Uh, we're very proud of that because, you know, it does take a lot to uh, do become a therapy dog. And you have to have just such a sweet disposition and uh, personality. Look at him, he's laying here on my foot, wanting me to rub his belly. This is, you know, where they like to be. They like to be on you, whether it be on your lap, on your feet, on your, just as long as they're by you. They really, really do. Nah, buddy. Yeah, your mama's going to be so in love with you. Um, and then we have those three over there that's chewing on the toy. Uh, we never take our puppies outside before they're, you know, nine and a half weeks old or so. Um, because any breeder that's taking their puppies outside without them being fully vaccinated, it's very dangerous. It is just strictly dangerous. You know, if they're two, three days old, a week old, two weeks old, three weeks old, um, they're not protected against parvo, distemper, giardia, coccidia, um, coronavirus, dis, you know, distemper, dis, tons and tons of, of viruses out there. Um, especially if they live in the wild, um, you just never know what might sneak up or bite them or anything. And our babies mean the world to us. Uh, that's one of the reasons why we do our surf testing and everything. There he is. Um, because we want to make sure that our babies are, you know, raised through the correct way. And, you know, there's several breeders um, that don't care, you know, how their babies uh, feel or act or anything. And they just... <laughs> They just take them outside at, you know, days old, hours old, and you just should not do that. In my opinion, and of course it's just my opinion, but uh, responsible breeders don't take their puppies outside because they need to think of, you know, the health of their dogs. Um, and young puppies should never be outside. Even when we go to the vet to have our dew claws removed, Okay, okay, I'll hold you. Even when we go outside to have our the do the vet to have the dew claws removed, they are kept in a um, container, a special uh, crate that we have just for them. Uh, we never set that kennel on the ground or anything. Um, it has a little handle on it. We could carry it. The top of it opens. We have a little blankie in there. We just you know we don't never put them on the ground, even if it's on a blanket. Um, and we never even set that kennel on the ground. It goes straight from our home right into our car, right into the vet's room, and then vice versa on the way back home. Um, another thing that we do is all of our puppies come microchipped and up to date on the shots. All of our babies are raised in the house. We do start potty pad training them. So, um, you know, they are partially trained when they go home. Obviously, if they come home at 10 weeks, they're not going to be 100% trained. No 10-week-old puppy is going to be 100% trained. And if a breeder tells you that, um, they're just telling you that because that's what they think you want to hear. So, um, you know, make up your own opinion about that. But I've never, you know, in my years of breeding, I've never had a 10-week-old puppy 100% potty trained. Um, especially if you're taking it from one environment and putting it into another. It's kind of like taking a four-year-old from their home into the preschool. He might not have accidents home, but, you know, he gets playing, he gets sidetracked, he has accidents at school. So there you go. Um, again, this litter of babies was born on um, 
August 24th, 2010. Today is uh, March, August, October 23rd. No, 25th, October 25th, 2010. So they're a couple weeks old. Uh, we do welcome you to my home to pick up your baby, and then you can see mom, dad, you know, siblings if they're still here. Um, we do live in southwest Missouri. Uh, Legion Air does fly straight from Arizona right into Springfield, Missouri, which is about an 45 minutes away. <laughs> Look at him, he's here. Um, and then they also fly in from LA, they fly in from several places in Florida. So, you know, it's very um, easy to come pick up your baby. And Allegiant Air, most of the time, their tickets are only about, oh, anywhere from $19 to 129 So, just depending on what flight and how far in advance you book it and so forth. Um, so, that's just a little bit of our babies that was born on 8 24 2010. He keeps coming over here on my lap. Go play with your brothers uh, and sister. Okay, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Good boy. Again, we welcome you to our home to pick up your baby. And um, hopefully, if you have any questions, you can go ahead and send me an email. Or you can go ahead and give me a call. My email is Cindy at FuzzyWuzzyPups.com. Uh, my phone number is listed on my website. And we look forward to talking to you and maybe um, seeing if one of our babies would be a good companion for you and your family. Thanks. Bye-bye.